Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Bible Ponder for May 27th. Um, we've been looking at, in the lead up to Pentecost, um, doing a lot about the Lord's Prayer and a lot in this global movement called Thy Kingdom Come. So throughout um, the past few days, you've been seeing other people um, lead you in the Lord's Prayer as, as a way to join in this global movement and as a way to worship and to pray together. And it's been something that's um, really powerful and, and a good communal thing to do. And so what better for our Bible Ponder than to look a bit deeper at the Lord's Prayer from Matthew's Gospel. So we're going to read that um, today. That'll be our reading um, from Matthew's version. And then I've got a few questions uh, for you to ponder. And then afterwards, um, as usual, we'll join in a Zoom call. So let's go ahead and read from Matthew chapter 6, starting in verse 5, and we'll read through verse 15. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep babbling like pagans for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. So my questions for you this evening are these. There are a couple that are maybe a bit more simple or a bit more open-ended, maybe some things that you've thought about before. The first question is, what does it really mean for God's kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven? What would it look like here on earth to have God's kingdom present? Would it be just an isolated thing or would it actually change everything about our world? What would it be like? Question number two, do we do a good job of forgiving others as we would like to be forgiven? Really? Do we? Why or why not? Maybe forgiveness is something that you're very good at. Um, maybe for you, it, it's something that that's a struggle. Um, let's think about a bit why forgiveness is hard or, or, or maybe why it comes naturally to us. And question three is more open-ended about prayer in general. What do we expect to get out of prayer? What do you expect? Do you expect something tangible, something real, something you can taste and see and smell and touch? Is it more about how you feel? Is it about changing the world? What is it that you expect to get? That's, a, that's an important question to ponder. It's something that I know I think about a lot. Um, so if you want to talk about those questions and, and any others that come to your mind, um, join us on Zoom uh, just after this video finishes. The link for the Zoom call and the password are below in the comments. So please do join us. I hope to see you over there and we'll have a good discussion. Um, but thanks for joining in this evening. Bye.